SpaceX has been pushing boundaries to gear up for the second launch of their Starship. Over the past few weeks, their efforts have been relentless. To name a few milestones, they've wrapped up the propellant loading test, got a steel plate in place under the launch mount, and just a week ago, they gave the water deluge system a successful test run. And the cherry on top? This Sunday, they conducted a static fire test of the Super Heavy Booster 9, the behemoth that forms the foundational stage of the Starship rocket system. Static fire test is where they ignite the rocket's engines while keeping the rocket anchored to the ground, ensuring it doesn't take off. This test is one of the final tests to confirm the rocket systems are operating correctly before the actual launch. Booster 9 isn't just any booster in SpaceX's lineup. Selected for the upcoming highly anticipated second launch test of Starship, it will be paired with Ship 25. In the recent test, all 33 Raptor 2 engines of the Super Heavy booster ignited simultaneously. The demonstration had clear positives. The booster itself withstood the force of ignition and the ground systems, especially the updated water suppression system, effectively protected the rocket and launch pad. Just a few hours after its test, the big Super Heavy Booster 9, also known as B-9, was carefully moved away from where the test was conducted. Some people think B-9 was moved to its big storage room for a special reason, to take a closer look at its engines. The reason? The recent engine test gave some hints. Everyone expected the engines to run for a full 5 seconds showing off their power, but they stopped at just 2.74 seconds. That wasn't what was supposed to happen, and there was another surprise. Out of the 33 main engines B-9 has, four of them stopped earlier than they should have. It's important to remember that sometimes things don't go as planned when testing rockets. A long time ago, when SpaceX was just starting, their Falcon 1 rocket had a lot of problems before it worked right. Rockets have many parts, and if one small thing doesn't work, it can cause bigger problems. The engines on B-9, called Raptor 2, are very advanced. But like all new things, they might have some issues that need fixing. The good news is that SpaceX is already making a new version, called Raptor 3, which will hopefully solve these problems. Now here's an intriguing piece of information. Once the experts have given Booster 9 a thorough check and say everything's good to go, it will get a special part called the Hot Staging Ring. This isn't just another component. This ring plays a vital role, simplifying the complex mechanics of stage separation during flight. But there's more to look into besides just Booster 9. Because the recent engine test had a lot of force, the water deluge system also needs a special checkup. It's crucial because in the past, the strong force from tests like these caused damage to the place rockets are launched from. When will we see Booster 9 back at the place it's launched from? It's hard to tell right now. Maybe it'll be back in a week or it might take a bit longer. It all depends on what they find during their checks and how long the fixes take. We all are curious about what SpaceX plans next for the Starship rocket. After the test on Sunday, no one is quite sure if SpaceX will do more tests or if they feel ready to try a real launch soon. To give you some idea, after they tested Booster 7, they waited about 70 days before trying to lift off the rocket on the first ever launch of the Starship. But that first launch attempt on April 20th faced several setbacks. The engines, which are the heart of the rocket, had issues. A couple of them failed to work as they should, which is a big deal for such a critical mission. And that wasn't the only problem. There was this event called a rock tornado, which sounds as dramatic as it was, where debris swirled up, causing chaos during the launch. This not only jeopardized the rocket, but also resulted in considerable damage to the launch pad itself. All these challenges combined made it impossible for that rocket to complete its mission successfully. But here's something interesting. SpaceX did the latest test on a Sunday. This might seem like a small detail, but they can only close the main road to their launch area a few times a year, mostly on weekends. So the decision to run the test on a Sunday suggests that SpaceX might be feeling the pressure to progress quickly with their second rocket launch. This sense of urgency aligns with Musk's ambitious goals. He is quite optimistic about the upcoming flight, estimating a 60% chance it'll reach orbit. While, at first glance, this might not seem much of an improvement from his earlier 50% estimation for the first launch, 
It's essential to understand the intricacies of the rocket industry. In this industry, even a 1% increase is monumental. After the first launch test, the team at SpaceX made more than 1,000 changes to fix issues and improve the rocket. One of the big changes is about when the Starship separates from its main booster during flight. Now, the Starship will start its engines a bit earlier while it's still connected to the booster. And guess what? Musk stated that we might see this new Starship fly by the end of this summer. Given this timeline, every day counts, and it's evident that the team is pushing very hard to meet that ambitious goal. However, recent developments from the FAA cast a shadow over this ambitious timeline. Three months after initial Starship launch ended in a dramatic explosion above the Gulf of Mexico, SpaceX has yet to submit its concluding accident report to the Federal Aviation Administration. This crucial document is key to the investigation, and its absence indicates that the Starship program remains, for now, grounded. This further implies that a second launch attempt this summer is becoming increasingly uncertain. The FAA confirmed on Wednesday that they are still in the process of waiting for this report. This document will dictate the corrective measures SpaceX has to undertake before they are granted another launch clearance. The FAA spokesperson didn't give a clear date for when things might move forward. They said that SpaceX still has things to do to ensure everyone's safety, and that will decide how long everything takes. Such delays and uncertainties aren't unfamiliar for SpaceX. Historically, the company faced similar challenges during the development and testing of other projects. For instance, with the Falcon 9, there were numerous hiccups and delays initially. Yet SpaceX managed not only to launch Falcon 9 successfully, but also to make it a workhorse for space missions. SpaceX has a knack for turning challenges into stepping stones. The ultimate goal remains clear, to launch Starship rockets into orbit regularly. The present may be filled with uncertainties, but SpaceX's vision for the future is unwavering. That's all for today's video, folks. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.